What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. One of the great American pastimes is watching the big game and eating some boneless wings. But to be honest, I'm not sure if the games are still going on. Are they? It's been a weird year. Very weird year. But as good as boneless wings may be, really, they ain't doing anything for us, man. They're deep fried, covered in a really sugary, really fatty sauce, and they're loaded with calories. You're gonna be getting some protein, but those cat man, those calories, bud, it's like a game of Jenga. They're stacked to the ceiling and one wrong move, all your gains come toppling down. But today, we're gonna change that. In this video, we'll be making Making anabolic barbecue boneless wings for the entire week. I know I always say my recipes are wicked simple, but this one, man, three ingredients is all you need. If you've been craving some game day foods, but there's no game and your gains could use a little work, then let me tell you, man, this might be the only recipe you ever need. And if you have the RJF recipe book, link in my description box, baby. This recipe's in there along with every other recipe that I drop on this channel. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. Perfect for meal prep, perfect for eating foods you love without sacrificing your body, man. This this is a lifestyle, baby, embrace it. It's a handy little guide you got right in your pocket, man. With this thing, if you follow it, you can't lose. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So for this one, we're gonna start with a good old trusty food scale and a cutting board. Let's go. So what we got here, cutting board on my food scale, and I have a plate of boneless chicken tenders from ButcherBox. They did sponsor this video, shout out to them, they sent me some free meat. It's pretty cool, man, you get on their site, you tell them what you want, they're gonna send you a box of premium meat and uh, it shows up and it's always good. Link in my description, check them out. But I like these little tenders because there's barely any trimming you gotta do, man. So what we're gonna do is make little bite-sized chicken pieces about yay big, like so. Sit them on the food scale and we're gonna weigh out 224 grams. Just keep going, creating little bites. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So the chicken, good to go. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna weigh out 60 grams of our G Hughes sugar-free sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, baby. You can use whatever G Hughes version you wanna use. Just don't use regular barbecue sauce, man. Lots of sugar. This stuff's way better. Tastes amazing. You're gonna love it. And once that's weighed out, we're just gonna take our chicken, put it down in there with it, like so, and then go in by hand and mix it up until every piece of chicken is covered. And just like that, we're at the final ingredient, man. We are gonna bread these with cornflakes. Sounds crazy, I know, but you just gotta trust me. Regular old store brand cornflakes will do. We're just gonna weigh out 40 grams in our bowl. And then once they're weighed out, go in and crush them up. And once they're broken up into little pieces, just dump your chicken down in there and go in and mix it up till all of your chicken is fully coated. And once your chicken is fully coated, what we're gonna do is grab a baking sheet, lay some foil down, and I actually got one of these elevated racks. It helps it cook all the way around a little better, but not required. Link in my description though, I got these on Amazon, super cheap. Hit it with nonstick. Then we'll just slowly place our breaded chicken right on here. Leave a little space between them, but not too much, cause we're gonna need the room. And here we go. This would technically be one order of the barbecue boneless wings. It would need about 18 minutes in the oven, 350 degrees. You can raise the heat a little bit if you want a little more crispy, but this video is about making a week's worth, so that's one. And if you wanna do additional days on top of that, like I always say, multiply out the ingredients, do the prep, and get to work. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's roll. Just like that, we got our three trays of chicken ready to go, man. Doesn't that, it already looks good and it ain't cooked yet. It'd give you salmonella, but you'd be tempted to eat it. So what we need to do, since we were making three trays at a time, if your oven has a convection mode, make sure you turn that on. It's gonna blow air throughout the oven and it's gonna help all of these cook evenly. What I'm gonna do is throw this in here at 425 degrees for about 18 to 22 minutes. But keep in mind, not all ovens are equal, but that's a good starting point. So we're gonna throw it in here and see how she goes. Woo! Tray two. Tray three, I didn't have an extra rack, so it's on parchment paper, but totally fine. And when I get back, we're gonna have some magic. Let's go. And 
And there you have it, man. I let these ride the full 22 minutes and it makes them a little more crispy, but 18 will work just fine if you want it a little softer, but check it out, man. This is one tray right here. We have the two other trays on the side. Now all we gotta do is prep them out. So all I'm gonna do is take some of my smaller meal prep containers here, about the perfect size for these wings. I'm just gonna slowly take my crispy little pieces and set them right down in here. Now we are gonna eyeball this. You want them to all be similar, but at the end of the day, if you're the only one eating these, man, you're gonna, you're gonna get it all in regardless over the course of the week. The macros are gonna even out. Just use your best judgment, man, and you'll be good. And now that we got all of our meals Tupperware up, the last thing that we gotta do is add a little more of our G Hughes sweet and spicy. The recipe calls for 60 more grams, but really there's so few calories in this stuff that it's pretty negligible. So you'll just take each of your containers here. I like to just do a little douse on top, bingo. And we do that to every single container that when you microwave and reheat it, it steams up in there and kinda hits all the pieces, man. I'm telling you, bud, you gotta give this one a go. And just like that, we are all prepped and ready to go for the entire week. Anabolic barbecue boneless wings. Easy, now, all you gotta do at this point, snap a lid on her, and you're good to go, man. Take this to work with you. If you're on the road all day, stop at a gas station. Pro tip, they all have microwaves. You can microwave it up and you're good to go. When it comes to storing them, these will last for a week, but towards the end of the week, they're gonna get a tiny bit sketchy. So I do recommend, if you're saving them for seven days, freeze four days of them and then pull them out the night before, sit them in the fridge and they'll thaw and be ready in the morning, good to go. If you made it this far into the video and you're liking these weekly meal preps, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe, guys. Helps more than you know, man. Those two things help so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, baby, let's get down to business. Ooh, you know what it is, man. You got a cop a pair, bud. Finalbossathletics.com. Put some swagger in that step, man. All right, real quick, before we eat some boneless wings, you know what we gotta do, baby. Gotta get them greens in. I'm gonna do one scoop just to make sure my bases are covered. Mmm. Woo! Available at finalbossperformance.com along with all of our other amazing supplements, man. All of them are on there. Check them out. All right, let's get down in here. I'm gonna grab this top one right here. All right, check that bad boy out, man. Right there. Some barbecue sauce, some of the breading, some chicken. The perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. I mean, it's so simple that, uh, I mean, there's really nothing in here that you can't love. Corn flakes, G Hughes barbecue sauce, chicken breast. I mean, come on, man. And seriously, dude, that G Hughes sauce is so good, it can go on anything. It can go on anything. And admittedly, after all the thumbnail trials and stuff I gotta do, I end up almost always eating this food cold after it's sit for a little bit. And even cold, this is still just wonderful. A little crunchy, the sweetness of that barbecue sauce. And honestly, man, switch out the sauce for whatever you want, man. Find some low-calorie buffalo sauce. They have other flavors of that barbecue sauce and just modify however you want, man. Because the sauce is really where most of the flavor's coming from. You're just getting the texture from the cornflakes, you know? So tell me how we're gonna fail on a diet when we're eating stuff like this. How are we gonna lose? I don't think we can. And a pro tip, anytime you make a recipe, this in chopper container, you got the lid for it. When you microwave it, right, take the lid off, but just kind of turn it to the side a little bit. So it creates like two little air vents here, but leave it on side while you're microwaving it. That way, if your sauce gets hot, it's not splattering in your microwave for one, making a big mess you gotta clean up, but two, it steams it down in there, and uh, if you have sauce on something, it kind of like almost just spreads it around a little. You just gotta trust me. I've been doing it with that French toast all week, and uh, it's a game changer. Now, just another one of them Remington tips, you know? That one was free, but the next one, I'm gonna have to charge you. Ooh-wee, bub. I'm, I'm just a massive fan of this. I'm a massive fan. And the best part is, I'm gonna finish this, wrap the video up, gotta go pick up Logan. He's getting his little body groomed. He needed a bath so bad, my boy was Stinking, stinking. Then when I get back, I can eat it again. And it's low calorie, high in I mean, it's super anabolic, it's delicious. Heck, man, I, I don't mind having this multiple times in one day, really. Not at all. And the thing about the meal prep, right? Yeah, it's a little more work. You gotta do a little more work at once. If you do that work one time, then you have those meals set for the rest of the week. So if you think about it, you spend that hour to prep it all out, get it going. But that's saving you that 20 minutes, that 30 minutes, you'd be prepping out something else every other day. And it adds up, man, we're being efficient. When those cravings come and knocking, and you have something like this just waiting in the wings, you take it to work, with you, you're not ordering pizza. Coworker brings in donuts, you just grab your Tupperware, you go to town on it, you don't fall victim to the donuts because you're starving. You gotta be eating the right stuff, man. Don't fall victim to them cravings, bud. I've done it a million times. When you're eating good foods, good anabolic, high protein foods that are leaving you feeling satisfied afterwards and making you feel like you're not missing out on nothing, that's the secret. So in one of these containers, right, if you made it exactly how I did it, the same ingredients, everything, what you end up with is 402 calories, only two grams of fat, 53 grams of protein, 43 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. 
fiber, 53 grams of protein, and it's coming from chicken, which I swore off plain chicken breast after uh, months of the chicken rice and broccoli diet. So now, if I'm gonna eat chicken, we gotta spice her up a little bit, man. Still one of the best protein sources you can eat. It's lean, it's great, not a lot of fat comes with it, but you gotta do a little something to it, man. You just, the plain old chicken just uh, ain't cutting it no more, bud. At least long term, it ain't cutting it. Mmm, I might just have to eat another one of these right after this video. What's up? Mmm. Who'd have ever thought cornflakes and barbecue sauce would make such good companions? It's like they've been friends for years. Final bite, baby. Let's go. That's a, that's a, I knocked that one out of the park. For me, that's perfect. I love the G Hughes barbecue sauce, sugar-free. We're saving so much on that sugar, getting a lot of protein in, keeping the fat low, which means that our calories are maximized, right? We're not just getting a bunch of BS fat calories that our body has zero thermic effect on and we're absorbing all of it, right? We got lots of protein. Body has to work extra time to break that down. It's way harder for your body to convert protein into fat than it is fat or carbs, but carbs even have a little bit of a thermic effect, which is why I like most of my diets and most of my recipes to be as low in fat as possible. Not that I think fat that's the enemy. But if I'm gonna choose what macros I wanna put in my body, I like high protein, I like high carbs, I feel better, I got more energy, and uh, I don't really, the fat, nah, I don't want too much of that, man. Well, we'll save that for a cheat meal. The fat can come with a cheat meal. But if I'm eating all week, man, you can make these recipes, they're amazing, they're delicious, and uh, you don't need that fat. You don't need them calories, I'm telling you, man. You're gonna be fuller, you're gonna feel better, your body's gonna tighten up, it's, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out in your favor, I promise. As always, if you got the RJF recipe book, it has been updated. Every one of my recipes is in here, perfect for meal prep. We have lunch, dinner, dessert, There's so much in here at this point, I'm losing track personally, but I'm glad I have my recipe book because if there's one thing about doing as much cooking as I do, there's no way I can remember off the top of my head how to make a lot of this stuff. So I find myself, if there's something I want, I have to reference my own book, look at the ingredients, and uh, I literally have to use this myself. So I know it works because I use my own book every single day. So uh, yeah, man, if you've been looking to start this diet, do the anabolic thing, it could be the best investment you ever made. Link in my description, you get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up, comment anything down below, Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, if you have not seen my video where I react to other people uh, trying my diets, go watch it. Leave a comment on that video. Let me know how my new editor is doing. All right, that was his audition to see if uh, he can, I can start putting out more videos and he can edit for me. So this should be coming out after that video. So check that one out. Let me know what you think. And yeah, guys, until next time, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw some sauce down in here, bud. We ain't letting that go to waste.